हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अमित भुक्तानी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट डॉक्टर सुभाष टेक्निकल कैंपस जूनागढ़ आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन टुडेज प्रेजेंटेशन रिलेटेड विद द सब्जेक्ट इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग इन टुडेज प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द टॉपिक आर्गोनॉमिक्स सो बिफोर वी बिगिन अवर टूडेज प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन अवर टॉपिक let us have an overview of today's presentation the first topic that we will study that is definition of ergonomics the second topic that we will study that is objectives of ergonomics and third topic will be applications of ergonomics so let us begin our presentation with our first topic that is definition of ergonomics So it is derived from two Greek words, ergo plus norms is equal to ergonomics. Derived from two Greek words, ergo plus norms that is equal to ergonomics. Ergo means work, and norms means laws. Is equal to laws of work. So ergonomics is one which studies about laws of work. let us see the definition of ergonomics it is defined as a scientific study of the relationship between the man and the his working environment so it's a scientific study about the relationship between man and his working environment it studies about the place at which the worker or man is working how should be that place about that it studies how should be the working environment for the workers at their workplace that study that related study is called ergonomics it can also be defined as <coughs> science that deals with designing and arranging things in such a way that people feel <coughs> people feel easy and safe over there so the place at which they are working that should be safe and it should be uh, helping them to feel comfortable over there that should be they should be satisfied over there the place at which they are working the study or the designing of those places or the relationship between a man and his working environment that is called ergonomics and more definition designing the job to fit the worker not forcing the worker to fit the job so the place should be such that the worker will be happy to work over there will be satisfied over there and will comfortable at the place at which they are working so that is what is studied by ergonomics and it takes into the consideration uh, various aspects it takes uh it combines the knowledge of psychologist it takes the knowledge from physiologist anatomist and anthropologist anthropologist so in terms of the uh, psychologist it studies about how human behaves or it studies about human mind that is called psychologist so it takes knowledge from that perspective also physiologist means it studies about the or working parts or normal moving parts or normal functions of their living organisms parts that is also considered in psychologist then physiologist study about the normal functions of the parts of the living organisms then anatomist it studies about the uh, body of body structure of human beings then anthropologist studies about the behavior of the human being of their past and present so all those knowledge is are taken into the consideration by ergonomist so uh, that's all about the definition now we are uh, going forward to our second topic of discussion that is objectives of ergonomics so what are the objectives of ergonomics the first objective is to improve the relationship between people equipments 
वर्क प्लेस एंड एनवायरमेंट सो एज डिस्कस्ड द प्लेस एट विच दे आर वर्किंग दैट इज कॉल्ड वर्क प्लेस एंड दैट एट दैट प्लेस दैट ऑपरेटर दैट ह्यूमन और दैट मैन हैव टू डील विथ द मशीन्स द इक्विपमेंट्स टूल्स एनवायरमेंट सो दैट शुड बी kept in mind that that place should be designed in a such a way that the workers feel comfortable they feel less strain they feel less fatigue so that should be kept in mind so that is the first objective the second objective is understand how the body works everyone has got different different biological behaviors different different biological structures so that should be kept in mind the how that body works some there will be some general uh, uh, characteristics among the human beings so that all those parts that must be taken into the consideration the third objective is to increase work efficiency and productivity so create a such environment that their efficiency and productivity is increased create such a good environment healthy environment then promote safety and comfort at work station so comfort and safety so there should be some provisions of uh, safety tools safety uh, fire fighting facilities all those things if there any accident occurs and there should be comfortness the place at which they are working there should be provision of chairs and those chairs should be adjustable they should be flexible there should be uh, providing Uh, sufficient rest that should be comfortable to them next is to reduce physical workloads so there should be less amount of load that should they should lift those all the considerations must be taken care next objective is to minimize the risk of injury and illness accidents without compromising productivity so there must be taken care that their there should be least an injury that should occur accidents that occur there should be least and there should be all that should be not affecting their productivity so such environment such uh, workplace should be designed now third topic of discussion is applications of ergonomics it is applied at various areas we will see uh, two or three areas at which they are applied first one is working environment the place at which the uh, workers work there should be such that you know, the working environment includes lighting facilities climatic conditions means the temperatures should be uh, within the human uh, tolerance noise should be less there should not be bad odors bad smells or unpleasant smells smoke smokes fumes means gases which are exhausted they should not be that much uh, bad yeah, one cannot if one inhales then it is bad for their health and ultimately these all the things should be taken care so that their health is not affected and efficiency is always more from the workers efficiency you will get that will be higher so the first is daylight if the person that are working in that workplace there is no the daylight is not that much sufficient so there must be a facility to reinforce or there must be some facilities such, such that artificial lights should be incorporated again that depends upon the nature of work if the work is too much complicated then there must be provision of artificial lights also if the daylight is not sufficient then comes <clears throat> environment the environment should be well ventilated and comfortable so that should be well ventilated there should be uh, uh, sufficient amount of circulations of air and well ventilated and comfortable and dust and fume collectors there may be some machines or some operations where the dusts are flowing or dusts are coming out or fumes means gases which are coming out which are uh, bad for health so there should be provision of some uh, or there should be some attachment of equipments which will collect over there only and it will uh, stop the spreading any further so 
dust and fume collectors should be preferably be attached with the equipment giving rise to them so that collectors should be fixed to those equipments which gives rise to dust and fumes next glares and reflections coming from glazed and polished surfaces should be avoided so there should be uh, suppose for example there are some materials on which suppose the uh, sunshine falls on that particular material then there is a reflection that comes back to the operators at which they are working so such things or such materials or such uh, uh, places should be avoided so that their eyes are not strained and that material should be kept at proper place so that that reflection don't fall onto the eyes of the workers so or some polished materials which tend to reflect or which tend to shine so much and that rays falls into the eyes of the workers so that is bad for their eyes so such uh, materials shining materials should be kept away next objectives sorry next application uh, if there are equipment with five parts then it is for better perception all those five parts should be colored differently that should not be that dark so that your eyes get strained so for better perceptions different parts of equipment should be colored suitably suitably so that colors should be colored accordingly to the different parts of equipment which looks pleasant to the eyes and don't give any strain there should be no much contrast color there should be some light colors which will not give strain to the eyes then as it is a factory that there, there, there will be a noise which will be there so that noise should be within limit if it is above 100 decibel then it will be very much dangerous for the human beings so there must be a provision of some isolating or some sound absorbing materials which will help to uh, absorb those uh, loud or sudden sudden noises which will uh, help the workers to work uh, efficiently otherwise they will cause the headaches due to loud noise or high noises it will cause headaches it will give fatigue so such provisions of materials also should be there at the place where there is high pitched voice or noise next area at which ergonomics is applied is workplace layout the place at which the workers are accommodate that may be in the form of sitting or standing so place it is a space in a factory which must accommodate an operator who may be sitting or standing then comes arranging your work space so how to arrange your work space that is divided into uh, three zones each zone we will uh, understand with the help of figure there are three zones first one is primary work zone second one is secondary work zone and third one is reference zone so the place at which that where you are working you you should arrange the tools around your desk in such a way that the distance you minimize the distance you have to reach your hands if you are uh, supposed to reach the tools within your workplace so you should arrange the tools in such a way that you have to travel less distance with your hand or you have to move your hand to minimum distance so first one is primary work zone third zone is reference zone outside arms reach using this use use this zone for list of one used items so from the figure we can understand that see for example there is a primary zone uh, for example there is keyboard so which we require all the time we are al- always using keyboard for the operation of computers for data entry or anything else then the secondary zone is the Uh, we have taken telephone which we require frequently but it is not necessary we are using all the time so that should be again um, approachable and third one is reference zone we don't we we use that th- 
things list it is not that much necessary it is not frequently used that may be uh, visiting cards or some other stationary things like pins and that all things so that is far away from the reach of your elbow so the primary zone is one which distance from elbow to hand things you touch on daily basis and secondary we use it frequently but not needed all the time so we have taken example of telephone and third one is outside arms reach where we have to where we have to uh, stretch a bit to get that items that is visiting cards and that all things so tools the place at which they are working on the work table those tools which are frequently used that should be easily approachable that should be easily uh, that should be uh, nearer to their hand they should not be uh, have to stretch for that then bench height and seat heights so the place at which they are working there must be provision of chairs and those chairs should be adjustable that should be having a back which should be providing them a uh, comfort and the chair should be also be able to adapt different postures if the worker requires to change his postures to complete the operation then that chair the chair that is available that should be such that they can change their postures and accordingly the operations can be done their seat height can be adjustable such types of chairs should be uh, suitable for them their back of the seat also should be adjustable then proper foot rest should be also there arm rest should also be there this all the factors will ultimately help them to give more efficient work because if they are tired then they are supposed to have a relaxation at that place so that all the things should be considered in mind then display panels if the worker is taking the readings then the display panel should be arranged in such a way that it should be at the right angle of the worker it should be at the right angle to the line of sight of the operator or worker exactly it should be at the right angle to the line of sight of worker so that he can easily read the readings on the display panel that also we will understand with the help of figure as shown in figure you can see that the seat is adjustable you can uh, tilt also the seat's position you can also the adjust the back of the seat then at the front of the worker's eyesight there is display panel it should be at 90 degree to the line of sight then there should be a bench top where the workers can rest his arms and a foot rest also so these all the factors that must be considered or these are the areas at which ergonomics are applied such that the worker should feel comfortable should feel easy should feel safe to work and which will help them to work more efficiently it will also reduce the stress level the fatigue level the tiredness okay i hope this presentation would have helped you to understand the topic ergonomics